I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, I've noticed over time that with Facebook, sometimes when you post something on Facebook, like a picture of something you have that you just bought or something like that, probably the best example would be, let's say I just went to the store and bought something and I posted about it on Facebook saying I paid, I don't know, $20 for this and, and so on and so. Um, here's the thing, I've noticed sometimes when you post something on Facebook, and you include a price in your post, and you include a picture, sometimes Facebook will automatically, uh, it's really weird, Facebook will automatically list it in Marketplace, like you're listing something for sale. So here you're looking at my secondary Facebook account. This is the account that I've created solely for doing um, tutorials and anything, you know, videos regarding Facebook. Um, this is why I can protect the identity of my friends and followers on my real Facebook. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload an image here. And I'm going to write a post about it. So, the picture is of my mongoose fat bike that I bought about two years, about two or three years ago. Um, <clears throat> And I figured just for the heck of it, I'm going to write something here. Say so this is my mongoose mollus fat bike. I bought it at Academy. Academy is asking two hundred for this bike. Now I don't know exactly what they're asking for it now, but that's what I paid for it back then. Let's see. It has. I'm just gonna say it has a uh, crap. I only know the it's twenty six inch tires. Uh, crap. I'm gonna say it has a steel frame. And is fun to let's see. Very happy with this bike. So in the photo at the bottom, I have something that notes um, "not for sale," just in case it was to go in the marketplace and people were to see it. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to mark this post as public. It's set to friends right now. Um, I'm not sure if it would uh, behave the same way if I set it to just friends. So I'm going to briefly set it to public because what I'm going to do is if it does post to Marketplace, I'll just remove it and I'll show you how to do that. So, let's see what happens when I click post. Now, as I mentioned, this Facebook account has no friends or followers on it. It's... it's, it, it's solely just for stuff like this here. So I'm going to go ahead and click post and let's see what happens here. And if you see, look what happened. It says posted an item for sale. No, I didn't just post this item for sale. <laughs> look. You see what happened here? It actually took Facebook's uh, um, AI technology, artificial intelligence technology, um, treated this as a marketplace listing. Said I say it thinks I'm selling this, which I'm not. So any time that you post something like this, and it and you you got to pay attention when you when you post things with a price and a photo. When this happens, you just click these three dots. Turn off sale format. And now it's, it has converted it back into a standard Facebook post. So, 
As I expected, I, I, I was very certain this would happen if I posted something like this. As you saw, I didn't have to check anything. I didn't have to select anything to mark it as a, for sa as a sale listing. Facebook, you really need to fix this. You really need to make this an option to where um, when someone posts something like this, instead of automatically marking it as for sale, why not ask? Are you market? Are you selling this? Or, or let's just say, is this a for sale listing? Yes or no? Something simple like that. Because I have seen several times in the past. Matter of fact, today I saw saw an instance of this, um, where a uh, a friend posted a photo of something they bought at Habitat for Humanity, and they posted it as a, flore a pre heat fluorescent light fixture, and they said I paid ten dollars for it. Include a picture of it. Well, Facebook uh, was showing it as um, so and so has listed this item for sale. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> so, anyways, that's how to fix the, that. That's that's an overview of the problem and how to fix it. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.